Paint.net uses the system fonts. To install fonts, just download any that you like and double click on the font file. Windows will ask if you want to install the font, so click yes and you are done. Make sure to restart Paint.net if it was opened when you were installing the font. Choose text tool from a tools table. Now you should see some options for the text. You can change font, text size, apply bold, italic, underline, strikeout, change its alignment or change how smooth edges of the text should be, smooth and lysing. Click on the image and write your text. Text can be repositioned by moving small button which pops up at bottom right of the text. If you cannot see it, just press Ctrl button. First of all, text should be on separate layer. So add new layer, write your text in any color, go to Effects, Object, Outline Object. This is a plugin. Choose your options and click OK. Sometimes you don't have appropriate plugins, but some things you can still make using default tools. This is how to make outline or shadow without any additional plugins. First of all, text should be on separate layer. So add new layer, write your text in any color, duplicate this layer. Now you need to make text fully black. You can do this in various ways. For example, go to Adjustments, Brightness Contrast, Brightness minus 100 and Contrast 100. Other way is to go to Adjustments, Curves, make Bubble to bottom right corner or Adjustments Levels, move Output top slider to the bottom. Any way should work. Move this layer below text layer. Go to Effects, Blurs, Gaussian Blur. Choose any radius which you think is good enough. The more blur, the bigger outline will be. If you want to make it stronger, duplicate shadow layer as much times as you need. To make reflection, your text should be on separate layer. So add new layer, write your text in any color, duplicate the layer, go to layer, flip vertical. Choose Move Selected Pixels tool from a tools table. Click on the image so whole image will be selected. Use down arrow key to move flipped text below original text. You can use Ctrl to move it faster. If you are happy with placing, you can deselect. Now when you have good placing of the text and of the reflection, you should make reflection feel more like reflection. So choose Gradient Tool from a Tools table and change its mode from Color to, tra to Transparency mode. Drag from Text Bottom or Reflection Top to Reflection Bottom or even more below. To keep straight angle, hold Left Shift while dragging. Now go to Layer Properties by double clicking on the layer or by pressing F4 and change Opacity. You are done! Make new layer. Write your text in black color. Add new layer. Choose two different colors. To choose primary, use left mouse button. To choose secondary, use right mouse button. Choose gradient tool from a tools table and draw a gradient. Option 1. This is the easiest way you can make gradient on the text. Open this layer properties by double clicking on the layer or by pressing F4. Change its blending mode to additive or lighten or any which works. Option 2. This is the second option. Click on the text layer so it will be selected. Choose magic one tool from a tools table. Choose global mode. Click outside the text so everything except text should be selected. If needed, adjust tolerance. Click on the gradient layer. Hit delete on your keyboard or go to edit array selection. Now you can de delete text layer if it's not needed anymore. But I recommend to leave it because you don't know when you will need it. 
Make new layer. Write your text. Choose Print Bucket Tool from a Tools table. Choose any color you want and click on any letter. If needed, adjust tolerance. To accept the changes, press Enter or Finish. Now keep choosing different colors and clicking on different letters.